What's up guys? Today we're looking at Editor Key's Adobe Premiere Pro backlit keyboard. We'll be focusing on the features of the product, hands-on experience with the product, and why you would want this product too. Hello and welcome, my name is Katie. On this channel, we talk all about effective, powerful storytelling and how you can be a better communicator through video. We do advice, how-tos for communication and public speaking, motivational content to get you going, and product reviews just like the one we're talking about today. One of the most powerful ways to communicate is video. And that means we all have to lean in and learn some level of editing. So if you're asking the question, why an editing keyboard? You know, do, do I really need an editing keyboard? Well, I mean, the answer is no, but I've spent a lot of my years doing the wrong thing or wasting time by not using a shortcut and then realizing the hard way after all the work is done that there was a shortcut to save me time. I wish I had a keyboard like this when I had started editing because there was so much that I wasted time on and made mistakes by just not having the right resources. This keyboard functions as a shortcut saver and I love all the features that it has, how they've color coded and grouped everything and just the quality of this keyboard. This is a beautiful and functional keyboard that is gonna teach you how to do shortcuts in half the time it would take to just learn the stuff on your own. Having it in front of your face is the beauty of this keyboard. You can learn all of the Adobe Premiere Pro shortcuts right from this keyboard, as well as using this for all of your other mainstream tasks. So the way Adobe Premiere Pro works when it comes to shortcuts is there's a letter associated with each shortcut. So for example, C stands for cut, and that's how you can easily cut a piece of footage without actually having to right click and select and do all this crazy stuff. One of the things that's pretty fancy about this keyboard is that it is backlit. So not only can you work in the dark without straining your eyes, but I find that it actually just keeps my eyes from being too strained in daylight as well as I'm in a space without windows. There are so many editing keyboards out there that are literally built for only editing in a certain program. So they're not functional as an all-in-one keyboard. They don't necessarily have letters associated with them. They are editing specific keyboards. And one of the things I love about this keyboard is that I can use it as a normal keyboard. It doesn't have to go away every time I'm trying to do something else. So I can easily multitask without having to switch back and forth between different keyboards. Hey, if you're getting value out of this video and you're liking what you're seeing, then hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, go check out some of my other videos on this channel. One of the things initially that I was a little bummed about is that it plugs in. You know, I'm trying to eliminate all the plugs on my desk so then when I'm filming it looks nice and clean, but I found something very interesting that I think would be valuable for you guys to know. There is actually lag that comes from the Magic Wireless keyboard. And when I plugged this one in, when I was editing, I didn't have any lag. Like when I hit a button, that function happened instantly. It's something that I didn't even realize was going on. And so now I'm super happy that I have something that plugs in so that it's faster and everything performs a little bit quicker. Let's talk about price. Now, if you've looked up video keyboards in the past, then you know that oftentimes these keyboards are tremendously expensive. And so when we're talking about the price for this keyboard, I think it's very, very reasonable. It comes in somewhere around 100 and 20 to $30. If you're an advanced editor and you are willing to spend big bucks to get a very high-end editing keyboard, then maybe this isn't what you're gonna be looking for. Really where I think this keyboard shines the most is for beginning editors and intermediate editors. So people who are like, I need to learn this stuff. I need to have the stuff in front of my face so that I can be more efficient with my time and just get that editing done way faster. All right, guys, that's all from me. Thank you so much for joining me. If you want to get this keyboard, again, there's a link down below for you guys, as well as other videos for you to check out on my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you on the next video.